I'm doing this wonderful fish. I'm doing pan fried fillets of John Doy with creamed peas and smoked pancetta. Spring dish. It's a, it's a spring summer dish. I mean, John Doy is banging season right now. Perfect. Slightly more expensive than sort of your run of the mill fish, but it's well worth the money. So here it is. Here's the lovely fish it's, uh, in its entirety. Um, some smoked pancetta. I've um, got some shallots, a few pea shoots here, some lovely fresh peas, um, a little bit of lemon, some flour and a, a touch of stock. We've got some chervil there which I'm going to add at the end. It's not overpowering, like a, it's, it's quite a mellow flavour, it works really well, last minute in sauces. Yeah, yeah, not quite like a parsley. So in here I've chopped the shallot finely and diced uh, into lard onto the, uh, the pancetta. Yeah. I've got that fine away, I want to release the natural oils from the bacon and that's going to start to stew and caramelise and go nice and crispy and that's what we're looking for there. At that stage, a bit of medium white wine, that goes in, put about 100 ml there for a one portion and about a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, that goes in there like so. I'll leave that to uh, just reduce down slightly while I uh, show you how, what we're going to do with the fish and fillet it. So, um, any, like, it's like a flat fish, any flat fish, it has the sort of bone running down the centre. Just sort of try and find your way, go into the, uh, into the fish and then you can just slightly see down there, that's where the bone is. So let's um, go either side of the bone. So it's got kind of natural markings, hasn't exactly. it? Exactly. Everything has really. Fish, chicken, you know, any sort of meat and fish. Once you've done one, you, you sort of know what you're doing and you can just follow the, the natural markings, like you said. So just knife onto the, uh, the bone and let the, uh, the knife do the work. Stand back just in case I slip. Always work away from yourself, like I'm doing, just in case it does slip. So there's one fillet. That's always a smaller, smaller fillet. And then onto the larger fillet, so like so. Would you ever use the roe? Because they're always full of roe, aren't they? They are. I don't like it, you know. Um, some people do like low of, of, of lots of things, scallops. I'm just a bit anti it. I just don't like the flavour, really. It. I love the rose. So really? I've got loads of it here for you, Chin. Yeah, Fish we roll. love it. So obviously I'll turn that over and fill it the other side as well. But if I pop that there, because we're going to skin this, get it on the go. So whip off the skin. So you'd always skin John Dory? I do, yeah? yes. Um, personal preference, really. And then there's two smaller fillets. This sort of breaks down like so. So one, I'll just cut off the end there make it just nice and neat. One more, if there's any silver skin, you get like a little bit of skin on there, like you would on sole, take that off as well. Because if you don't, it kind of tends to curl, doesn't it, it when does, you cook? It does, curls up, shrinks, doesn't keep its shape. And it's not that nice to eat. So off with the skin, and then we've got three nice fillets there. Again, if there's any little bits and bobs there, just take that off. So that, you know, I'd say that as a, a, a portion with a good garnish.